Hello everyone, welcome to Chirac SQL Server DBA Tutorial. In this video, uh, we are going to learn how to configure distribution in SQL Server application. So we'll be using two ways to in SQL Server database, using the SQL Server Management Studio graphical user interface and second is using T-SQL script. So what is the distribution? Distributor. Distributor is the uh, server that contains the distribution database and store metadata and history data for all types of replication the distributor will store uh, transaction and transactional replication and uh, that's the second is the publisher but a publisher is the main database copy on which a publication is configured making data available to other ms sql server that are configured to be used in the replication process the publisher can have more than one publication third one is it subscriber so a subscriber is the database that receives the replicated data from a publication so this all are using for the replication so in next video we'll just go through the uh, replication and already i defined the replication as three types of the replication and for the replication we need the three uh, things distributor publisher and subscriber and maybe uh, distributor publisher and subscriber will be the same machine and uh, and distributor and publisher and uh, subscribe in the uh, different machine or <coughs> or distributor and publisher in the same machine and subscriber in the different machine so now i'm going through that and we have a two machines we have a two machines one is the uh, chirag lappy and another is ms sql server 2 Two servers are running so we'll do the uh, distribution database on and publisher on the first machine and second machine will do the subscription because if one machine will down then subscription uh, machine will keep the database on <coughs> so now i'm going to create the distribution uh, distribution database so right in the replication right click on the replication click on the configure distribution so click on the configure distribution go to the next and if you have uh, already distributed databases created then you you can select this one add the distribution database you don't have, you are doing the first time so just click on that it will add the distributor and server will create a distribution database and log database so go to the next there is your option do sql server is service start automatically or or no i will start the sql server agent uh, manually sql server agent uh, agent is started automatically already running so you can uh, choose, uh, choose anyone so go to the next so this is a snapshot folder so here this is the main folder where all the uh, all the uh, all the push and pull subscription uh, data will be available on this folder so this folder should be in the in correct path and use the network path for this folder so that will be good for your uh, replication go to the next so distribution database name this is my distribution database name and uh, there is a folder for the distribution database so there is another folder for the log database so first database is the distribution and second is the log database if you want to change the path for the distribution database and log database then you can change it from here so go to the next so this is the my uh, publisher and this is my first uh, server and that is i am creating the distribution database this database is there go to the next and here end of the wizard we can configure database and there is another option is that uh, generate a script uh, file with the state of configured distribution so it will give you the uh, t sql script so you can create with the t, uh, distribution database with the t sql script and i already have the t sql sql script so i'm going to the next so next is the uh, name so we can ignore this error for now because our actual server agent is already running we have a configure the distributor is success and enabling the publish publisher is success so go to your database must and uh, just expand the system databases there is a four databases just refresh that so you see there is a distribution database and uh, if you go to the replication and you can see there is a distribution property and disable the 
publishing and distribution so our distribution database is configured okay now if you want to delete the distribution database so you right click on that but there is a no option for the deleting this database so uh, if you try to draw up with the command line also it won't work so go to the for the deleting the database go to the replication fold and right click on the replication there is a disable publishing and distribution click on that disabling publishing and distribution wizard go to the next and there is an option yes disable uh, disable publishing on the server so and this server will disable as a distributor so click on this go to the next disable publishing and distribution go to the next and finish so this is success now refresh the system folder distribute database gone away and if you right click on uh, replication uh, replication there is an option to configure distribution okay so we <coughs> completed with the, with the sql server management studio graphical user interface now i'm going with the t sql script here is my t sql script i'm going to copy that So use master i'm uh, running with the chirac api and this is the distribution database name i'm giving the path for the data folder this is the for the log folder i'm creating the database distribution database uh, using the distribution database and this assigning the property i'm just creating the uh, this reply uh, replication data folder and uh, from that i'm uh, just add dependency and uh, text extended uh, property on that and now adding adding to the publisher to the distribution database and using that so let me run this one and just first check system database we don't have the distribution database now let me put this uh, query executed successfully now refresh the system databases here see there is a distribution database is there and uh, in duplication also there is a distribution property is there so my uh, distribution is configured now so in this video we will learn how to configure distribution database in sql server replication and later on videos we will just configure the further for the replication hope this will help thank you for watching